Hey everybody, it's Ava Cherie. I'm coming to do my bite me buddy video. <clears throat> I just want to remind you guys how important it is to make sure you have some type of filing system when you change out of your aligners weekly. Oh, Reason being is because um, I, as you guys know, I just got my new set of aligners for the second second half of my treatment, right? And it just, you can lose track really quickly, in my opinion. So although it says step one and step two, I have the previous um, envelopes that have already been opened with step one and two. You know, you, you can just want to make sure your filing system is intact and in order. So what I do is put the date. I just rubbed it off on my finger, but I put the date that I'm starting so I can kind of keep track that way. Basically, we're going into week two of my second leg of bite aligner at night treatment. So let's open this sucker up so I can get on the get on. My first week of my adjusted aligners that they just sent me has been really, really um, good. Uh, court, like Just like I said last week, but I'm not going to hold you. Those things hurt. Um, they're very, it seems like more orthodontically um, structured to really make a significant and drastic change in my the appearance of my teeth. So my choice in my um, to do is to make sure I monitor it closely week to week because when I put these suckers on, the new ones, like from last week for the first time, it's hard getting them off in the morning. So for instance, if you're having those problems coming in and out of your um, aligners as you get further into your treatment, you find out that, remember I used to say it's clutch, it's tight. Um, if that compression is a little too tight, this is my own personal thing that I've done. I think of things out the box. I think really quickly and really creatively uh, on the fly because I'm just used to doing that, right? And what I did when I could not get the freaking aligner off my teeth, first of all, I was starting to panic because I felt like I was going to pull my teeth out. Um, it just felt loose. You know, I, need a, I had a root canal and I didn't get the crown. I'm waiting to get the crown put on after my aligner process is over. So I'll be feeling like my teeth might be too weak. And I'm talking about, I had to, this is the first time in 17 weeks that I ever had to pull out that little red device that's in our aligner um, case. I used that sucker this whole week of these new aligners, okay? The whole week. Because the bottom ones never came out, just like how I used to pop them in and out. Nah, they weren't moving anywhere. The top was the same. Um, however, I was able to get those out with my hand more so than I was never able to get the lower aligners out. So little side nugget, little jewel is I would put warm water in my mouth and swish it around while the aligners were in to let that compression and that air like kind of release to get the tension off of it. For some reason, I thought it would kind of release, you know, like soothing that warm water, get under there and just gives a little breath of air and then I could just pop them off and it started to help me. And that's what I did for seven days straight. I'm praying and hoping that these suckers right here won't make me have to go through that process because it was really unnerving. It's kind of like, is this supposed to be on this hard? Is it supposed to be this hard to get off? Is it supposed supposed to be that tight? Um, yeah, I guess they made them to where they didn't want to hear my mouth again about what didn't work. So they said, oh, okay, we're going to fix her. So I'm going to put some Brighton Bite Aligner Cleanser and Whitener. So I'm going to use this with my aligners today. I noticed in one of my videos um, on my other playlist, my food for your soul vlogs, I was talking about something very deep and I noticed that my teeth look much straighter. And I say that because it almost looks like I have my teeth fixed. Like no offense, Bite, if y'all heard listening. But no, I'm saying like fix, like shave, like veneers, like they looked like they were going straight across when I was talking and my mouth was moving. And you know, when you have problems with your teeth, you tend to go like that when you smile and laugh, you try to cover up the problem areas. It's by nature, your face is so used to doing like this. Yeah, what you mean? What you go? Girl, yeah. Ta, ta, ta. But now I was talking and it looked just like straight across. So what I'm saying inevitably is my Bucky Beavers are going back. They're pushing back. So yeah, I noticed that on my video, you could tell I had some mouth work done and that's what I want you to be able to tell is that my mouth is improving, baby. All right, my investment is working, it's paying off. And my dad gonna bite break, then um, dry it out, child, cause I didn't talk too much, hold on. No, I do not play with the break. Yeah. 
go with the bull. But I don't like this. They just they just done went off now. They didn't they got stupid now. Come on. Don't make it where I can't put the daggone thing on. You know how people, when they go to make a correction, people in general, the race, the human race, mankind, when they go to make a correction because they like overwhelmed or they being too extra or doing too much, when they go to make a correction because you pulled them up on something or they realized that it didn't go as planned, they overdo it. They do too much, right? Now, I can't even get dead things on my mouth. So, hopefully, prayerfully, I can play with it. I'm going to move on to the upper. But what I don't have time for, and I'm losing a little bit of patience, is... Listen, I see. I ain't going to say that. Went right on, right? Because they ain't doing much more with this. They think they slick. It's the they ain't get most of the work. So let's try this again. What I'm not doing is putting all this pressure on my little T. I ain't got time for that. how hard that is to get off my husband playing <laughs> every time I'm done he gonna try to act like he wasn't just playing friends mm -hmm. no Bobby Brown he's playing Bobby Brown babe can you hit me with some Bobby Brown I'm, I'm doing a video right now and I was just grooving and you just messed me up I'm like, yeah brother Brother, can you turn it up? Come on, bye, buddy. It's Bobby Brown. Boom, 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 boom. My pride, yeah. I can't get it in, y'all. I got in. Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. It hurt. I'm out. Guys, love to you. Guys, peace to you. I'm gonna get over this pain and get in the shower, and it's a good night for me. All right, in that order. Guys, love you. Guys, peace to you. Leave me a comment. It's on. And let's pray. Pray for me that it comes off.